This is a temperature clock and humidity gauge. It comes with this cord that's connected to a little metal sensor and you put that outside and that's how it's able to measure your outside temperature which currently where I am is 35.8 degrees, kind of chilly. And then this is the inside temperature which is reading 69.6 .6 degrees which isn't that far off what our thermostat says right now. It says it's reading 70 degrees. Uh, the difference is probably due to the fact that I'm in the kitchen now and I'm next to a large window and a large glass door and it's a little bit cooler standing over here than it is like say in the middle of my living room so I'm not terribly disappointed in the 0.4 degree difference that it's reading. Probably would read differently if I had this setting in a different room. Ooh, the outside temperature just went up a little bit. And then as you see down here the humidity is 45 percent and then here's the clock telling me that it's 12:18 uh, p.m. If I wanted to, I can go here and that tells me my alarm, if I want an alarm, which I don't, but you can set an alarm. Um, and then if you click this adjust button, it's telling me that it's December 3rd. So when it comes, it comes reading Celsius. And as you see right now, I've got it Fahrenheit because I'm in the United States. Um, and I changed that by pressing this bottom button and that changes back between Celsius and Fahrenheit. This top button is a reset all button and then it comes with a um, battery. It takes a AAA battery and it does come with battery and then of course it has this little stand or if you want to hang it up it comes with the hanger. So that's pretty self-explanatory. The only part that I found a little bit difficult was setup because the directions are fairly lacking. But um, let me show you how to do it. So this button here, if you quick press it, it just flips between the alarm and the time. If you hold it though and you get it blinking, you can change things by tapping the adjust button. Um, and then you set it again. Whoops. And then you can scroll through all the things. You can either do 12 hour, 24 hour. And then here's where you just keep going through and you can change the date and the time. So this is how you um, get to the thing you want to change. And then this button adjusts up and down. And then this button sets it again. So very simple. It also has a memory button, which will tell you the max and the min readings. I don't think that I will use that too much though. But overall, it's a very easy uh, unit to use once you have it all set up. Um, there's not too much to it. I mean, just these three buttons, um, very easy to set up and, um, I would say fairly accurate on temperature. Um, you know, within a half a degree is not a, not a deal breaker for me.